Hi there, today we're going to talk about fractions. Do you know what a fraction is? Have you ever heard of a fraction? Well, after watching this video today, you're going to be able to explain what a fraction is, also to talk about shapes as a fraction, and finally, to explain what an equivalent fraction is. Before we begin, let's look at some words. Okay, the first word we want to look at is fraction. A fraction is a part of a whole, a part of a set of things. It could be a set of things such as cars, it could be pizza, it could be anything. A fraction is a part of a whole. The next word we want to look at is numerator. In a fraction, the numerator is the number that is above the bar. It's the part of the whole. The other word we want to look at is denominator. Den the denominator is the part of the fraction that's located under the bar. It's the number that's underneath the numerator. Let's look at this cake. This cake is divided into six parts. Three parts are vanilla and three parts are chocolate. So this fraction is three sixths. The numerator is three. Three represents the vanilla part. Look at the pizza. This pizza is divided into eight slices. There's one part of the pizza that's taken out. So the fraction of the pizza that's taken out is one eighth. One is the numerator. Look at the rectangle. It's divided into six total parts. Two of the parts are shaded purple. The denominator is six. Okay, let's look at some fractions. This fraction is called one half or one over two. It's divided into two parts. One of the parts is shaded blue. One is the numerator, two is the denominator. Another circle is also called one half. It's divided into two parts, two whole parts. One of the parts is red, one is its numerator, two is it's its denominator. Look at the yellow circle. One half of this circle is yellow. Of the two parts, one part is yellow. One is the numerator, the part that's shaded. Two is the denominator, the number of total parts. This fraction is called one third. Of the total three parts, one is shaded. Fractions are a great way to show how you share things. Take a look at this great, delicious looking Hershey bar. It's divided into 12 equal rectangle parts. Let's say you want to share three of those parts with a friend. So which fraction, or what part of the Hershey bar have you shared with your friends? The total parts are 12, that's your denominator, and you've shared three parts with a friend. So the part you've shared is three twelfths. You've shared three part three twelfths of your Hershey bar with your friend. So remember, a fraction is a part of a set or part of a whole. It's represented by two numbers. The number at the top is called the numerator. It represents the part and the number at the, on the bottom is the denominator. It represents the whole. What are equivalent fractions? Let's take a look at equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are two different fractions that show the same amount. 
Let's go back and look at our Hershey bar that we shared with our friend. Remember, we broke three parts of the 12 parts and shared it with our friend. So the fraction that we shared was 3 twelfths. Now, let's look at that same Hershey bar differently. Let's look at it and divide it into four parts. Now, let's share one part with our friend. It's the same amount. Now we've shared one fourth, one of the four parts with our friend. So the fraction one fourth is the same as three twelfths. Three twelfths and one fourth are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are different fractions that show the same amount. Notice that one half is the same as two fourths, which is the same as three sixths, which is the same as four eighths, which is also the same as five tenths. Each of the different fractions shows the exact same amount, which is why they are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions show the same amount. It's very similar to regrouping things, just looking at things a different way, a different grouping of the same amount. For example, two-fifths is exactly the same as five-tenths, which is the same as one-half. Look at the circle. Two one-fourths or two-fourths is the the exact same amount, amount as one half. Again, two one fourths or two fourths is equal to one half. Five tenths is the same as one half. And one fifth is exactly the same as two tenths. They're just regrouped differently, but it shows the exact same amount.